we are gonna go get Sir Jack, put him in his stall, and then the daring act of bringing two horses who are extremely young and naughty in at one time. We'll see how it goes. I have uh, a little optimism. I'm a hopeful person. And our property is gated, so we should be moderately okay. Oh my gosh, and Stepper. Okay, Stepper. Jack, Jack. Jack is the giant chestnut. He is a retired three-day adventure. He was also formerly a race horse. Hi, baby. This is Black Beauty. You can't believe that there could ever be a treat that's not for him. It always didn't make any sense. Okay. A little bit for you. Okay, a little bit for you. Okay, let me pass. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, Black Beauty, that was it with the carrots. That's all the carrots. No. <laughs> Black Beauty is really, really hungry all the time. He's recovering from Cushing's. One thing I would like to say, if anyone recommends that you try Percent for Cushing's, don't. <laughs> Save yourself a lot of heartache. Um, and read the pamphlet. It's a really sucky drug. And they made him lose his appetite completely and he got super weak and depressed. So finally got him off the evil, disgusting percent. We'll never try pharmaceuticals again. That's it. That was the last straw. Now it's just all herbs and holistic stuff. That's all that works, especially on horses where you can control their diet. The only reason it doesn't work on people because they will like, oh yeah, I'll take all of your suggestions and then you secretly see them posting pictures at the McDonald's drive through It's like, failed, you absolutely failed, people. <laughs> okay, here comes Jack into his home. Happy Jack. So for Cushing's, anyways, he is looking so much better, Mr. Black Beauty. Um, Cushing's highly recommend fenugreek seeds. Really effective, really affordable. It helps them digest sugar differently and helps them be able to regulate their own hormones, which is kind of what Cushing's in is. It's a hormone defunction from the pituitary gland and we can fix that. Okay, onward to get Miss Stepper. She is named Stepper. As you can see, she is stepping around like crazy. Hi, everybody. Just like a horse. I mean, they've got like 40 million years on us of evolution. If you're ever running, especially downhill, canter. I swear to you, it is so much easier. You use a lot less energy and it's a lot more balanced. Right, Stepper? Okay, come on, to the stall.
Oh yes, got that alfalfa. It's all she ever wanted. <sighs> okay, two left. Now, these are the bad boys. They're not bad, they're just young and they're horses and they're like, my legs were made to go very fast. Why are we walking so slow? Especially when they know that their grain and their hay is all waiting for them. They're like, well, let's just gallop, right? We should gallop, definitely gallop. And me, I'm like, no, let's walk, please walk. Whew. That's what a lot of my day is every day is training horses, risking your life for the fun of it. <laughs> and uh, seeing lots of bruises, but soldiering on. Okay, babies, I know you keep seeing me. I swear to goodness, you're the next trip. These kids are very patiently waiting for their dinner. Ah, back down a beautiful forest road. All we need is golden bricks down the entire path. That would be so magical. So one of the ways that, I mean, there have to be a lot of ways to support the horse sanctuary. It's extremely, extremely expensive. It's costing me like everything I make and more. It's 30 grand a month. So we have to have lots of businesses in place to support the rescue effort. And one of them is a photo shoot venue, which is so much fun. So we just spend time getting the place absolutely beautiful and setting up these gorgeous antique sets. And, you know, we tell the husbands and the boyfriends to build us stuff and they do such a good job. And we're setting everything up so people can come over, take pictures with the horses. You can even sit on the horses. You probably have seen some of our shoots where we sit up on the horses completely naked and even ride around naked, which is so fun. Um, every woman who's come over and ridden around nude is like, I love this. I just want to do this forever. And I'm here and I'm like, I should be doing this forever. It's so much fun. Okay, here come the boys. So this is Fletcher. He's the older brother. a good little boy you know that I mean it when I say walk right there will be no naughtiness today <sighs> people tell me that my no is very squishy it sounds like a soft no but I really mean it you better not be naughty today you want to be a good soldier okay now let me get your brother you stay okay. up stay Good boys. And this is Carter. He's currently like a rose gray. It is so beautiful. You're kind of pink, honey. This one is good. If you can believe it, the younger brother is so much better than the older brother. Oh. Okay. Yes. We are ready for this moment. Fletcher, I don't want any fun stuff. We are walking. 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 Fletcher, pay attention to me. Walking. Walk on. Walking. Thing to watch out for. Okay, hold on. You, you have to 
make room for your brother, honey, is horse play. We don't want any horse play on the trail with me in the middle. I am more than a monkey in the middle. I am a delicate flower. Okay, Carter, come on now. Also, Richard, excuse me. It's okay, I got him. I've got him. Now you, you are walking at this pace, my friend. Fletcher, the one on my left, the older one, he's really had a phase of biting. He's bitten a lot. You guys have to walk at the same pace. Carter, come on. Oh. Oh. Come on, Carter. Carter, let's go, friend. Oh. It's not one, it's the other. Carter, you're walking with me. do a switcheroo. Carter, up. Fletcher, about. Oh, come on. There we go. They really want to walk single file. Okay. There we go. Good boys. Wow. Charming young gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Who's going to get oats? And carrots? Who wants carrots? Good boys get lots of carrots. Yes. Good boy Fletcher. Good boy Carter. Look at how well behaved they're being. I think we should probably always have a camera on while we're walking home. He must know and he doesn't want me to show his mother what he does sometimes, right? You wanna be a good boy so that mommy is proud of you and gives you lots of oats and treats. That's pretty much the main agenda for all horses is how do we get more food, more treats? Carter, Carter, come on. Okay, fine, you can walk behind. Oh, oh we're so close. So, so close into the barn. We have made it this far. There's been no naughtiness. That's just amazing. Amazing babies. They must sense my tiredness. It has been a very long, long day. But cleaning stalls, and feeding horses. <gasps> Look, it's all your friends. Okay. Don't say hi to Stepper, she'll get you. I didn't get squished or kicked or bitten. Oh, what a good day. Didn't fall down. So that's it. I've got all the horses in and uh, just got to take off one more and lock them up. So sometimes if you don't lock everything absolutely perfectly, the horses are very clever and they will figure it out. Head up, please. Thank you. And they will get out. And at like three in the morning, you hear a chorus of whinnies from all the horses. And they're like, yeah, he's out, he's out. Oh my God, he's so cool, let me out. And then they start figuring things out, like how to let each other out. And I personally don't care so much. My next fantasy is shared with my mind. And we wanna have Horse Island. No fences needed. Just horse island. Everybody can be free on the island. It's gonna be so great. But for now, people like really care about keeping horses confined and fences and whatnot. So it's a big deal when they get out. So I've locked every gate, feeling proud. And that is our show. Thank you for watching. <laughs>